This company, Perina, they're refuting online rumors claiming their pet food, it's safe. You're invited to a brand new webinar I'm having. Are you feeding your dog right? Discover the truth about dog nutrition. It's happening Tuesday, January 23rd at 5 p.m. Pacific. You can click the link in the box below to sign up. Some social media accounts are now alleging that ProPlan and some of the other Purina products have made many dogs and cats extremely sick. Many people shared their concerns on TikTok as well as in a public Facebook group, saving pets one at a time. The posts are saying some of these animals, they've had seizures, diarrhea, vomiting. Some animals have even died. Publicly, Purina and its parent company, Nestle, they completely deny any of this. They say that their quality assurance team investigated the rumor and there's no data or trend suggesting that there's a problem. And they're saying that these false statements, they're creating unnecessary stress for pet parents. There are no current FDA recalls affecting Purina and the last confirmed FDA recall affecting Purina was March, 2023. That was a recall for a Purina Pro Plan veterinary diet that had potentially elevated levels of vitamin D. So yes, that's what the company is saying. This food is completely safe. But some of the personal experiences, they're suggesting otherwise. James Deal, a pet parent from Long Island, New York, he had four dogs. Three of the four dogs were eating Purina Pro Plan. His 14-year-old Rottweiler, who was eating Pro Plan, developed inappetence, vomiting, diarrhea, and died. The following month, his older Dachshund, Petrie, she died. Then in December, Bear, his eight-year-old Dachshund, developed similar symptoms, inappetence, vomiting, diarrhea, lethargy. Bear didn't die, but he was in critical care and is still struggling to eat at home. Their fourth dog, a six-year-old Roddy that was recently adopted, was not eating any of the Purina products, and that dog's still okay. Mr. Deal says his veterinarian couldn't explain why his dogs got sick, why two of his dogs died, but after he was alerted to these online posts about so many other dogs getting sick after eating ProPlan, he sort of drawn the link. He really thinks that the source of the illness, it came from the food. Then I wanted to give you an update from the Facebook group, Saving Pets One at a Time. They are reporting that since December 5th, 2023, 940 dogs and cats have become sickened from Purina and 229 of those dogs and cats have died. This has come from six countries, the USA, Ireland, the UK, Serbia, Canada, Hungary. They say that the common denominator is all of these animals they were eating Purina. They have nine different holistic veterinarians tracking the issue. And since that time, they've published a more extensive list of some other foods that they believe are affecting dogs and cats. Purina, Instinct, Stella and Chewy, Pure Balance. Royal Cannon, Merrick Origin. Organics, Taste of the Wild Hills. Acana, Blue Buffalo. They say that many of the pet food manufacturers, they're getting their vitamin and mineral premixes from the same suppliers. So if one food is affected, other foods can be affected. Their first suggestion is if you or you know of someone who is feeding some of the Prina foods or some of the other foods listed on the list, then you should stop feeding those foods. Don't wait until your dog develops clinical signs and gets seriously ill. Some of the symptoms they say to watch out for. Lethargy, vomiting, diarrhea, muscle weakness, and seizures. Rapid weight loss, excessive urination, rectal bleeding. Vomiting blood, yellow around the eyes, other signs are suggesting there is icterus, or jaundice from an animal that has liver disease. First thing then you're seeing your veterinarian if any signs prop up. Blood work, IV fluids, treating the underlying health disorders, i.e. treating the seizures. Stop feeding this stuff immediately. They suggest saving this pet food and do not release it to Purina under any circumstance. Report it to the FDA. I'll put a link in the description box to how you can do that. And then their fifth suggestion is that you contact the pet food manufacturer. They're suggesting if they're asking for a sample of food, just send them a small sample but keep the rest. As part of this group, they're doing some of their own independent toxin screening to see if they can verify and figure out exactly what's causing this. They say that Purina has been contacted by numerous pet owners who believe that their pets have been affected by their products. They said that initially Purina was offering to reimburse pet owners for the cost of the pet food. Then they were offering $10 coupons. And it's true, many of these pet food companies, they do share many common suppliers, especially for the vitamin mineral premixes. There's been toxicities in the past in the vitamin and mineral premixes, and obviously they can't test every batch of food. So after seeing all that, well, what do you do? Personally, I wouldn't feed any of the Prina products, and I've never recommended them in the past. When you have this number of people reporting on their animals becoming sick after eating a specific food, it does seem more than coincidence. I know my dog has been eating one of the foods that they posted in that list. It's a canna, so I'm going to be switching her diet.
And as we learn more about this, I'll definitely keep you updated. So whatever you're feeding your dog or cat is safe and it's not going to harm them. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of the Purina Pet Food Issue. You're invited to a brand new webinar I'm having. Are you feeding your dog right? Discover the truth about dog nutrition. You're going to learn about what is the best dog food to feed now, specific meal toppers to improve the quality of your dog's nutrition, plus DIY dog care, Dr. Jones' best home remedies for dogs. It's happening Tuesday, January 23rd at 5 p.m. Pacific. You can click the link in the box below to sign up.